So now that we've created a binary search tree, I'm going to talk about um, the search operation. Once it's stored as a binary search tree, it's really easy to search for things. That's why it's called a binary search tree. So let's say we wanted to, for instance, find out if 12 was in the tree. We just start um, right here, right? 12 is greater than 10, so we know we have to go to the right. 12 is less than 15. We go to the left, and there's 12. Very easy to search for things. Okay? Um, and if you want to search for things, and they don't even, oops, sorry. I'll just leave that. They're not there. So let's say we wanted to, for instance, search for 14. Same process. You start at 10. 10 is great. Um, 14 is greater than 10, so you would have to go to the right. 14 is less than 15, so you have to go to the left. 14 is greater than 12, so you'd have to it would have to be at the right. And 14 is greater than 13, and there's nothing to the right, so you know that 14 is not there. And that's how easy it is to search for something.